Hello, my name is Michael Boyd. I'm a nurse practitioner that works in residential aged care. I provide primary health care clinics uh, for um, high needs older people. Um, what we found during the COVID-19 experience is that we've needed to start doing virtual clinics. Um, that has uh, replaced our normal face-to-face -face clinics uh, by and large. We've learned uh, many things from these uh, virtual clinics. The first thing that we had to learn was the technology. Um, that took about a day for the nurses to kind of get comfortable with that technology. But once they got comfortable, it was uh, not a problem after that. We used the Zoom technology. One of the things that we did before uh, the COVID-19 crisis and before we did virtual clinics was we had the nurses do a um, pre-assessment. But what's happened with the, with the virtual clinics is we've had to really um, rely on those pre-assessments and the nurses have become much better at articulating what the problem is, being clear about what the problem is, doing better physical assessments as well, including lung sounds and heart sounds and, and doing a full physical assessment. And I think that that's a real advantage from this uh, experience, is that prior to this, they didn't really use their stethoscopes on a daily basis. And now what I see is that their handovers are better, their assessments are better, their articulation of the problem is much better. And I'm very happy with that. And I think that'll go forward as we, even after the crisis is over. How we then handle the notes is that one uh, facility is on paper notes. And so they'll send me the paper notes uh, on a PDF. I'll add my notes from my uh, practice management system and then send it back to them. Um, and then another facility is completely on a, an electronic note, so we just do it electronically, and that seems to be uh, to work really quite well. Um, the the other thing that we that we find really valuable is the Health Quality and Safety Commission's frailty care guides. The acute deterioration care guides are really helpful. We have the stop and watch, which is for caregivers and what they should notice when somebody is deteriorating, and then also the eight steps, which is for the nurses to systematically go through what might be going on with acute deterioration of residents and to help them really systematically evaluate that. Um, with COVID-19 testing, uh, what we found was that if I did the first nasal swab uh, for those that had a fever, we have a very low threshold for doing nasal swabs um, currently. Um, for anybody who has a fever, I'll do a nasal swab. And then what I've, then I'll teach the nurse how to do it after that first one and um, the nurse will do it after that. And that's been a huge advantage for us to be able to keep on top of the testing as well. So that's our experience with virtual clinics. Thank you very much.